Hey troops, this is Bob from The Truth You See, and I'm gonna take a few minutes to explain very clearly how Bill Nye completely lost the debate in the very last closing statements as he ascribed human attributes to the universe. Check this out. The question is, what is the one thing more than anything else upon which you base your belief? As my old professor Carl Sagan said so often, when you're in love, you wanna tell the world. And I base my beliefs on the information and the process that we call science. It fills me with joy to make discoveries every day of things I had never seen before. It fills me to joy to to know that we can pursue these answers. It is a wonderful and astonishing thing to me that we are, you and I, are somehow at least one of the ways that the universe knows itself. You and I are a product of the universe. It's astonishing, I admit, I see your faces, that we have come to be because of the universe's existence. So did you happen to notice how excited Bill Nye got over some of the discoveries he's made? He's just downright giddy. That's all good and fine. It's pretty awesome. But the Bible talks about the fact that when we look at the creation that God's created, that we would give him glory for what he's created. But it also then says in latter times that man would stop worshiping the creator and start to worship the creation. And that's clearly that we see Bill Nye and many of the science community do. As a matter of fact, I've often said that evolutionary atheistic science is a religion. As a matter of fact, it's most closely related to this concept that I'm gonna call evolutionary pantheism because somehow they believe there's an energy force or something that needs to know something, kind of like the blind watchmaker needs hands and feet and eyes and ears to go out and find stuff out for it. Yeah, I think that works. And if the blind watchmaker has sent mankind out to, to know stuff for him, then they will need an evangelist. Know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomenon in the cosmos. That makes me want to grab people in the street and say, have you heard this? And you'll also need some preaching. We're all connected to each other, biologically, to the Earth, chemically, to the rest of the universe, atomically. And of course, let's not discount the fact that the blind watchmaker probably has an imagination, too. I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man's. He's never gonna let us relax, 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 relax. relax. There is God standing on a planet. Really, I'm just a speck, I'm just a speck compared with a star. The planet is just another speck. To think about all of this, to think about the vast emptiness of space. There's billions and billions of stars, billions and billions of specks. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. So in my humble opinion, Bill Nye completely loses the debate right here by ascribing human attributes to the universe. ...are somehow at least one of the ways that the universe knows itself. You and I are a product of the universe. It's astonishing. But you know what? We are not a product of the universe. We're actually created in God's image, in his likeness. But we rebelled and broke fellowship with God, going our own way, causing sin, death, and destruction to his creation. But he's made a way back for us. If we repent and trust what his son did on the cross, trust him for our righteousness, he paid for our fine. He paid our debt of sin. So repent and trust the Lord and develop that relationship back to him. Get to church, read your Bible, and get to know him, and show up at church and give him honor and glory and praise. Not what he's created, but the creator himself that deserves our worship.